How's it going everybody? This is Doom Kid. Today I'm just here to show you how to raise or lower the volume of your MIDI file that you're going to use in your Doom map, or for any reason really. First you'll need to download the program called Sakaiju. I'll have a link for it in the description. MIDI has two different ways to raise or lower the volume. First you can see your track volumes here. Uh, as an initial note, don't change them here. This is not the place to change them. Alternatively to the track volume, which can change throughout the song, each track has notes that have a velocity. So the velocity is the strength of the note. So there's 0 to 127 is the velocity a note can be, and is also the volume value that a channel can have. So this saw wave channel has a volume of 120. And the notes on that channel have a velocity of, it looks like about 70, going by this. If you look, these different values here will actually affect the sound of the note in more advanced sound fonts. In the default Microsoft sound font, you won't be able to tell the difference. But in an advanced sound font, the power of the note may change the actual sound of the note as well. First, you would go to, you'd right click any given channel and click go to tracks event list window, then right click and click show all tracks. Then you go down in this top window here, you're going to want to go down to control change. You click show only, right click and click show only this event kind. Now you'll right click volume in this lower window here and click show only this control change. Now, every volume control for every track in the MIDI is being shown to us here. We can see them all on the top right there. They're selected under the devil's work there. So what we'd have to do is from one on the left here, all the way to the very lowest value. It's only 35 in this MIDI, but some may have more. You select all of those, then go to edit and click modify events value. When you're changing track volumes like this, you're going to want to modify value. So let's say if we put it at 80%, you'll see all these values here will actually go down accordingly. See, so that 120 is now 96. And if we edit and undo, we could see what they were before and edit and redo. So when we play now, here's the volume currently, and here's what it was before. You can hear the volume had made a clear jump just then. So that's the way to do it with track volumes. Now, the other way to do it would be to right click and show this track's piano roll. Click show all tracks. And then you'll see this has every note hit by every track. The way to select all of these on the left here is to go all the way down the piano roll and just drag with your left click all the way down and you can see every note here and the whole track is highlighted. Now what we can do here is go to edit, modify events of velocity, not value, but velocity when doing it this way. So once again, if I change it to 80%, you wanna do percent, boom, you can see all the things lowered by 80. So you can hear how much quieter it is now and then it was a lot louder for me. These are the two main ways of changing the volume in your MIDI file. I recommend doing the track volume, but sometimes that's not enough and you need to do the note volume as well. So these are two different approaches. The note volume may change the sound of the actual notes, like the uh, actual timbre of the notes, but I hope this helped you and uh, we'll see you around here again soon. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm hopefully going to be uploading not as frequently as I used to, but a little bit more often, you know, every couple months, at least I should have something. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks and take care.